Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we been watching the next half of Maxor's Cruelty Squad video. This is going to be a thing. That, that is the nicest way I can put that. This is a thing. Maxor usually makes things crazier and more elaborate and mind-meltingly insane with his editing style. This game does that for him. He had no effect on making it any worse. In fact, his editing style seems to have condensed this into a more manageable form. Not the easiest to do, but the fact that that has happened is terrifying to me. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is, I know what I'm getting into, and if we're lucky, I won't end this video with a sudden jut cut to the paramedics taking me out of the room because my brain started to melt out of my ears. Is what I would say, but I'm not entirely sure that won't happen. Because it's a max or video, that possibility is small, but it exists. You know, I was going to make a joke about that, but then I realized halfway, no, that's actually an entirely possible thing. So, <laughs> ah, lovely. More importantly, you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. Let's get started. And we're starting up on Epic Toad 9. You know what? Sure. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's probably going to be stupid. For the next Wait, stop on our Alpine enjoyable park. vacation, we decide to take a trip to the nearby alternate an actual dimension Alpine park. where we can relax. And Wait, what did that say? Oh, God, it's... Vacation. We decide to take a trip to the nearby... He, wh what? And there's actually a picture of the place they're going to in there. Okay. To the nearby alternate yeah. dimension. Where oh, God, it's Colorado because it's Alpine. Yeah, that makes sense in hindsight. Where we can relax and admire the many disturbing entities like the Bubble Buddies or the... I don't know what I'm looking at, but it kind of disturbs me. Almost a hot tub zombie. There's a hot tub, you know... Hot tub in Colorado. There's definitely a joke in there about rich asshole who just wants to lounge around in the tub all the time. You know what? I was going to make a joke about that, but I've been told this game is intentionally as offensive as exactly what you're thinking. So that's probably the actual thought process between the, with that entire... I just, yeah, it just probably actually is that. Also, I just realized there's a little green like zombie hand for the mouse. Okay. Um, Why is it fond of the door? I guess I'm not going to open that door. <laughs> right, uh, you, got, you guys having fun over there? We can also okay. check out the secret underground maze of unusual layout and sinister like implications. Behold, mortal, for I am the object of thy quest. The what? beacon of hope. Um, is, is, he okay? is, is that and just going to be a thing? Why the Jews did it? Uh, did what again? What? Planned my niece's birthday party. Oh, okay. It was outside some asshole's apartment building. Bog business is a really nice. There's probably a meme in there I'm not aware of, and frankly, I'm just going to pass on that one. Today is Yule Epidemic Ten. Oh my. Level. I like the part where the video stays monetized. Nope. I think I might have uh, figured out where the swamp step. You know what? I had to see that. I'm going to subject everyone else to that. Just that little comment about exactly what that is. Now play urinal ASMR. Oh god, that's probably a real thing. Oh god, that's probably a real thing. I'm, I'm not going to look it up. I don't want to look it up. I No. Because if I do, it's the internet. It's going to exist. I'm just... We're, we're just moving on. Uh, just moving on. Where the swamp step is from. It's time to clean the urinals at double the speed. This level is just a swamp. really fun time, which is why it almost like you need the so umbilical. Miyazaki really outdid himself with this one. Yeah. The swamp and into the shrimp dimension, we what? find ourselves rife with mules epidermis minecraft on the precipice of a dark and mysterious valley veiled in a tapestry okay. of terrifying it's just everyone else in a dark terrifying and more something is levels. out there and someone is watching observing our every move examining me as i cover the entire valley in feces is there actually a segment right now where you just go to the person with the sniper cannon zooming in on your player or is that just like some kind of edit he used? Heading deeper into the mines, we are huh. overcome with the strong sense that something is profoundly amiss. And the workers oh, are... Oh, yeah. D d what, what the fuck? I these have are the faces of evil. And in the what? darkest reaches of these twisted caverns... Does it just keep going down? ...a dreadful secret, never meant to see the light of day. Oh! Meat in this world does not grow. It is harvested. The earth itself lives and breathes. But most importantly, it feels pain. And it, and it likes it. Uh, hey, man. Nice to meet.
it feels pain we're harvesting it and it enjoys it also i just realized this is nice to meet you oh. now, listen i i know it looks bad but a little sense, it was really funny i promise to you that my crumbing days are over from this moment onward i'll be count as strictly to adult porn Strictly to what? Oh, oh, oh! You, you mean the you mean the meat mine? <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry about it. Oh God, After he's really all, going there on this one. you can do to reverse of the process. Course. So we reverse the process using Remington therapy, then navigate the vascular system all the way back. So you're literally in a giant meat body as the entire level, or is that the entire game? You just find out later. The meat walls were always the thing. It's all meat all the way down to the beginning of the level, leading Seriously? us to our fifth vacation of the video in a respectable financial establishment, which I can be trusted to explore responsibly for the next eight hours. Did he actually spend eight hours on this? I mean, I know casinos are addictive, but did, did he actually play eight hours on this level? Considering the overall level of this, let's call it a game, is... Okay, who wants sanity? Don't worry, the answer is none of you. Spending eight hours here willingly sounds like it's actually incredibly well done, or Stockholm Syndrome. My money's on Stockholm Syndrome. Also, it's fight a dual exposure casino carnage. And then just the word, ah. Okay, so it was a little more than eight hours, but, uh... More? This is more than eight hours? Oh God. Now I'm gonna break even soon. Just play the slots for 10 hours straight and one hour gay. My favorite is the slot machine that uh just just generates garbage. You this get stuff from Okay, a and random bubble buddies in the game that you will be going into. And uh and I forget what else there is. But that is okay, since this is basically the longest level in the game anyways. Oh, okay. I killed everyone in the fucking casino. So Honestly, that part's not even surprising. The, the noise, it sounds like it's having a uh, good time on its own. Oh, wait, they're all meat. It's probably actually having a good time. That really brings a whole new meaning to spin the wheel, if you know what I mean. And if you do, ugh, I regret everything. So we gamble away my son's child support, and because of our amazing returns in the waste industry, we are given invites to attend the annual Illuminati convention, where we get to wine and dine with all the world's billionaires and politicians before sacrificing the child. Of course, he's going to that dumbassery. Life is jewels. Explode Greg's? What's a Greg's? Is that a British thing? Welcome to the yeah. Idiot Party, a labyrinthine maze containing the best and brightest of the Orphan Blood fan club. God, I hope I get to see Mr. What? Beast before a Moloch demands my firstborn. <laughs> Featuring such amazing attractions as the room designed for humans and the giant blender that fires you into space. But that is nothing that compared looks to horrifying. the main attraction of our wealthy guests, who are here to provide us with captivating insights into exactly uh, how- Did it actually just say I have captivating insights? And do exactly how many children it takes to mine our cobalt. Oh, yeah, because that's the thing that happens. How many children it takes to mine our cobalt. Can't wait to see what amazing life advice these Words of wisdom. guys uh, get up at 5 a.m. Uh, journal. Be the owner of 95 properties. Okay, thank you. That's a uh, right set. I know he's doing it as a joke, but the fact that I can think of multiple YouTube channels that say that unironically. Watching this, after watching Super Eye Patch Wolf's video about the, let's go with the fake world of YouTube. It's not the right title, but it's the absolutely correct title. That joke actually hits a lot harder, and it's just, oh, I just want to punch the screen right now. It's infuriating. Lesson in Jesus Christ. Buy as many Funko uh, Pops as you can. Make no. The the you are to mortal. Mortal. Ten rules for uh, life. Oh, God, they got him. Oh, this hard guy's hard to here. People. Okay, he I understand. I get it. I get it. Pointers and jointers. Oh my god, the rule for life, the rich guy just having you be the idiot they're talking about. Uh, jointers? I, this is, this is awesome. Immortality is the best. And I, I, I just have pound. so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I was told that all the mentions of the gamer subs in here are a legitimate sponsorship. They paid for this. Sponsorships sometimes review videos, especially big ones that have a lot of mentions. Someone had to look at this and say, Push gamer subs, poison the gamer subs, and looked at that and went, Yeah, I'm cool with this. 
Still better marketing than Panera right now, so yeah. Wisdom for the He actually found the voiceover girl from TikTok. Who oddly enough is also a TikTok creator herself who does prove it's her by doing just random live reads occasionally. And then he used that first. I don't I'm impressed that he found the absolute most guaranteed toxic voice possible. Nothing on her to do it, but it's been used everywhere, man. Fourteen. Well, that that's a lot of words. So after taking our medication and restoring you the sure you light did? of God, we decided. Wait, was that Ralph? Divine Rolf restored. You are a neighbor of the Ed Boys. The rats, the rats, the rats, the rats. Okay, I think I can move on right now. This is decide to ride the elevator. This as actually takes more than all the way else. up to the neuron activator. Actual level name. The Wait, only seriously? in this game to give me a piercing migraine, which if you I'm sorry. Maxor had something he dealt with that was so I can't think of any other word to describe it, but Maxor that he got a migraine off it. That is both the biggest flex I've ever heard for game design and the most terrifying condemnation I've ever heard for game design. Because if you can give Max or a migraine, other people are probably having full-on seizures at this point. I'm looking at this and going, I'd die. Not a joke. I would probably just die. Like that joke I got earlier about the paramedics? No, no, we'll never even get that far. It would be a morgue. They would just be taking me out on a stretcher and like, okay, are we going to cremate him? Or okay, let's just do that. That would be all that would happen because that, that is, that is terrifying. If you've seen this video is really fucking impressive. From the seizure inducing huh. dance floor to the inverted nightmare oh, maze with God. a demon inside of it. This nightclub is designed from the ground up to her. I actually just need to pause a second there because I'm looking at this and I hate it. I don't have photosensitivity. But I think I would develop it with that level. The fact that some dance clubs actually feel like that is why I don't dance. Also, because I have no coordination, I've accidentally stepped on so many people's feet that I've been told that if I ever try, I would basically need a lawyer on speed dial for all of the claims of assault. Yeah, not, not that I'd stepped on anyone, but just my dancing was that bad. To hurt anyone with functioning eyeballs, and with enough time, reduce the number of functioning eyeballs. Yeah, that sounds about right. a little bit of a challenge when you're up trying to see the enemies. So to reach our targets, we're going to have to be very precise and subtle. Bomb. Okay, he's just going AOE. If there's enough bullets, can't see. We. Today I will be opening a normal door and, uh... Okay, there's mannequins. Okay, never mind. Really like the way the NPCs just uh to slowly there. gather around you in a circle. Really oh, to so sacrifice. welcome and protect you. Yeah. When the beat drops, I'm going to fucking oh kill myself. My God. Theory that was actual in-game dialogue. Oh dear God, man. I just this is he. Did he that I ca I had to misread. This is actual in-game dialogue. I was told this is literally He put wingdings or whatever the hell that is as the actual it's called seizure tutorial. Yeah, no, that makes sense. What the hell, man? Theory time. Oh, God, As civilians no. are a writhing mass of flesh. I just, I they just want to know what the bathroom is. You, you don't have to do this to I me. Boiled a baby alive in thousand so we liquidate it. I'm glad that part wasn't read out as actual in-game dialogue because I'm getting scared here that some of this is actually in the game. I just missed the tags saying it isn't. Because at this point, it all feels like that level of insanity. This is a game that will induce schizophrenia. I am convinced of that. Every member of this godless cave, including the man behind it all, Michael Jackson. I, I don't know why he moves like that. And after investigating okay, just random moonwalker. We move on to the funny life. office level, so I can organize a meeting between HR and the bullets in my gun. Immer energy in jewels epicenter total control. Oh god. And he called this the often season sixty nine. Oh my god, really? That's the joke he was like. Welcome to Control Incorporated, the world's what? only oh, it actually was company called where the employees do not have pathfinding and will walk out the ninth floor. And today we're going to be taking work. Wait, did he just shoot a bubble buddy? 
I think he did. I'm just gonna go back because what the hell? Please do not have pathfinding and we'll walk out the ninth floor. And today we're Yeah, he just shot someone into a bubble buddy. That is Oh no, no, they're just literally I have no idea what's going on, and that is terrifying. Actually, no, that looks like a bubble buddy monster, so apparently, yeah, that is this game is way more fucked up than I ever We're going to be taking enough. workplace harassment to the next level, starting by a t clearing out the witnesses. This mission consists of many targets spread throughout the world's most ridiculous waste of real estate. Really got to commend the devs for their uh, sick Roblox hobby. My favorite part of the office is when they <laughs> t t forgot to code Michael Scott's pathfinding and he no, fucking dies. So after... Theoretically, if no one has pathfinding, do you just sit there long enough and it clears itself for you? Because it seems like that's the entire thing about this. Navigating a hostile workplace environment and giving our employees a big severance package. We decide that now is the time to go on strike. It's the Krusty... What? The Krusty Krab is unfair. They have tortured my children in a Calcutta basement for the last 92 years. The only feasible way I can alert the authorities is to place this text in a random YouTube video. I hope it is found random thing he throws out there and i frankly don't know if this is something that was actually in the game or not because even though it says the youtube video i would fully expect at this point with the level of insanity in this game that there probably is a shout out to random people making a video about it and just hoping it gets included because that is the kind of level of what the fuck man i expect at this point especially since i am 100 percent of the remaining workforce my demands are simple let me kill jeff Bezos. taking the elevator uh -huh. in the center of the building <laughs> One day, we advance past the- I'm actually a little surprised and impressed he didn't make a joke about a Mass Effect simulator right there. If you get that reference, I am so sorry. The penthouse guards and accidentally back down. Gravity? Who needs it? I'm gonna break in through the fucking window. Do you have safer. any idea what you've just done? Do you even know who I am? The most I am the one entrusted by face. the Trigons to keep this world together. And you've been You're not doing a good job. job. Very difficult. Uh, you've been doing sorry. this together? Sorry isn't going to cut it. I want this bitch's penis fucking exploded. This dimension. I just want clarification that that's Maxor's edition and not something that happens in game. Either the dialogue or that that's one of the options. But having seen some of the options available, I cannot definitively say that. I just want to convince myself of that. If I'm wrong, let me have the delusion that this is Maxor editing it in. Don't correct me. Please. I don't think I could take that right now. This is just way too weird. Is rotten to its core. No, I agree with her on that one. Me. What? Okay. Even if you kill me, you will change nothing. You cannot end immortality. Okay. Uh, where am I exactly? This is just like Gorbino's okay. quest. Okay. This is the Gorbino's quest. Hey, hey do you know what? This is just like Gorbino's quest. Oh no. This no, 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 is no, no, the no. Gorbino's quest. I can't quest be here. Of this is just like oh, Gorbino's quest. Can anyone, like can, can anyone quest. tell me what's going on this here? This is just like Gorbino's oh, quest. What the? F oh God! Why are they turned inside out? It's this game. Oh. It's so creepy, and I don't, I don't know if that's Max or editing it in the Gorbino's Quest thing, because it just is so creepy, it might actually be in the game. Oh, the Gorbino's Quest of Life. Ah, Gorb is cruel, Gorbino. What? We did it, guys. I... We finally. What did that say? Divine Schizo restored. Your Topa will enter reality. What? Also, I have no idea what anime that's from, but it looks familiar. We finally found the world's only video game, and all we had- Wait, what did that say? That was Gorbino's Quest? Gorbino's Quest 2000! Wait, what was that? And three, new game! This is the only video game, yeah. And... Gorbino Quest 500 hours of mind-pumping action! Oh, so all those blocks with faces are literally the face of Gorbino. Oh my... Now, at least I have the insistent references. Oh, I just realized his face is also the one you've been having right here. 
You're playing Garbino's Quest, aren't you? That's exactly what you're playing in game. It's the only video game, and all we had to do was to the reality merge. Welcome to the Archon Grid, a horrifying plane of eternal torment sitting at the end of reality itself. Really love the opportunity to uh meet people. Oh god, does the floor actually move textures while you're moving around? Oh god, I just saw the meat as an M-E-A-T people. Oh, because they're eating people as a way to do things. Oh. I forgot about that aspect of the game, and now I really wish I hadn't remembered. And to get to the bottom of this twisted game, we're going to have to navigate a funny series of challenges from the funny, yeah. game to Gorbino's Quest, which, by the way, increases the speed of the orange demon based on your FPS. And mine was- Wait, based on your FPS? Yeah, this is very much a game that punishes you for having good stuff. You basically need to downgrade your system as far as possible to make this playable. 200, meaning this level was three times harder than intended. Only three! Knows best is a game made up of many mysteries, which the player has to solve while being pursued by Freddy Fazbear. I like the part of the movie where they uh, help a nice old man fit into his new suit. The only- What? I've never seen the movie. I have no idea what that's a reference to. And you know what? I'm okay with not knowing. I think I'm fine with not knowing. Oh, God. Also, yeah, I get that it's basically Pac-Man with how it moves and the arm hand things are very much a shout out to that. The issue being that most puzzles are meant to trap you forever. That box ain't lying. Did he just put in random? Yeah, yeah, he put a digital circus reference and their bees are trapped forever. We're adventuring a shooting, pop me! Oh my god. Uh, that actually does fit too well. <laughs> that box ain't lying. Gorbino's Quest do be having 500 hours of mind-pumping action. So we make our way through the hordes of PS1 goblins, eventually. Then- Wait, what is it? Five- Oh, it's the 500 hours from Gorbino's Quest. This is like Gorbino's Quest. This is Gorbino's Quest of Life. Then, about Choke two minutes later, action. find ourselves fighting God. Oh it's God, you actually just have a random God. Video games. And after mapping him to a cross with no future consequences, we journey to the center of the Archon Grid to finally reset the- Oh, Archon and SA to say. Yeah, using that as a standard for the word God. It's rotten reality. Exit. Once and for all. Um, brick wall. Excuse me. You emerge from no, no, no. I, what the fuck is this shit? Hey guys, Max are here, the and, uh, and, and welcome to hell. You have learned acceptance and forgiveness. Is this actually the ending scroll? Did Is this actually how it goes? Oh, it's probably the ending of Gorbino's quest. It's just, hey, happy, Sonny. Does this song actually happen in game? To with it, honestly. Wait, this is actually in there because he's mentioning vibing. This is actually in the game. He didn't add this. I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse. It makes it more terrifying, probably. <laughs> yes, that is a common problem. What? No, no, no. I, I specifically wanted to leave this place. Oh, we're going to the end. So what? Is that actually how the game ends? Oh, after killing the concept of death and eternally trapping our souls on this hellish plane. Oh, that is actually the concept of death. The only way to escape this entire horrible place. We acquire enough funds to purchase a normal house in a very welcoming neighborhood where we can relax and- Vocational school. Epic Glottis? What? The property market. Do all of the activities that normal humans do, like watch my favorite channel, open the fridge correctly, speak to the devil, and admire my 50 copies of Gor- 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 Gor Why? Heading as far away from that place as possible and- Yeah, that's smart move. Fighting three gods, because that went so well last time. You just randomly fight gods in this thing. Okay, we sure. that all the water in the game has been tainted a blood red. Yes, I'm getting LCL vibes. But frankly, this is already full on Evangelion. More like the end of it. This is a reference to <laughs> to Neon Genesis Evangelion. Called it! <laughs> also, the game just lets me uh, change the blood color to something very suggestive. How's about we... They knew their audience very well, apparently. <laughs> Go into town and uh, strike up. Oh, a invisible monsters! I follow the teachings of Fuckbro Ninety Nine. I don't know what I was yes. expecting. The strong decide the nature. You know what? Never mind. This level is. There's just random art of a circulatory system. I'm actually impressed they put in such a detailed copy.
I have no idea if it's accurate or not, but the fact that it's there at all is impressive and terrifying. I could have gone without that and never had a problem. Really fun. I like the part with the nine transparent flesh demons and the... Why Whatever does he have a is. blue head? Hey there, buddy. It's great to see you. Not every day you can meet someone so ripe for purification. What does that mean? Now we can work on making you beautiful. Like me. Well done. Adding the face actually made it worse. I guess this is it. I have everything that I could ever want. Money? Power? Funko literal Pops? immortality? So much has changed, and yet I'm still just a pawn. Maybe... I'll always be a pawn. wonder what song that is in the background. No. I can't give up here. There's I've still more? got one target left. One person who was always there. Someone plotting from the shadows and yet so far away. Is he going to find a way to shoot himself retroactively? At this point, I fully expect that. And as long as I can find them, I've still got a way is to that change things. Word life on I still have hope. What? Well, guess we'll never know. Cruelty Squad is epilepsy and Cruelty HQ. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? I don't... So after finding okay, the this dark orb to unlock the super secret hardest difficulty... There's more?! It's a metaphor for nihilism or some shit. Yeah, Dying probably. The screaming cube is the final part of the game. Everywhere. We arrive back at the place where this mess first began. And to finally take out the source of this world's corruption, we're going to have to be a little bit creative. Because this world's corruption has an HP of several million. Wait, there's an actual way. Your body feels weird. What the? And also he uh, makes you short. Is that the guy who was just giving you the missions initially? So, to defeat our final foe, we head deep into the Cruelty Squad catacombs, past the assortment of random enemies, and into the chambers of the Funny Golem, which, upon death, fires off a total of 1,000 flechettes into the room. What the fuck?! I'm just looking at this going, <laughs> This isn't a problem for the in-game character. This is a problem for anyone playing on a PC who was taking advantage of the earlier frame rate equals speed of Gorbino, and thinking, okay, if I bring up my potato PC, I'm going to do great. And then they pull this shit, and your PC just bursts into flames. If there is not at least one forum post somewhere about someone playing this game, getting to this section, and then losing their entire computer because the graphics card spontaneously combusted as it noped out, I will be very surprised. Because this is, um, this is crash material right here. All to access a very special weapon, which scales hey, its damage based gun. on how much money you have in the stock market. And I just so happen to have a little bit oh. of an index fund. There's a stock market cannon. So, that just... That, power word money. Oh my god. They literally have, screw the rules, I got money as an in-game option. You are nothing without me. I created Cruelty I think Squad. right now he is uh, I rich. I you. I own you. Oh, Dead. shit, that was one shot. This that was the joke. Nothing else does enough damage, so you have to be rich enough to beat him. Looks like an interesting level exit. Uh, no, no, please don't make me do this again. God fucking damn. Man. It's another musical this, uh, number? This, this is not good for the YouTube bit, right? Really, uh, really, really didn't want to hire an animator for this one, I guess. Uh, thank you? <laughs> this shit is making my head hurt. How much of this did he animate and how much of this was actually in the game? I don't know and I'm terrified. There's multiple music goals and your plan invest wake up early ceo mindset why, why is it giving me actual good advice wake up early, CEO what the fuck did i just say kicks me to the main oh that's the main menu this is just a this is just a special fucking game honestly yeah oh god it's actually worse that way and that's the joke, CEO mindset. Because it's just like, get up early, make money, do it again, CEO mindset. And then it just shows you this image of just like the wired open eyes and the green barbs. Oh god, this is disturbing. And I just got the joke. You kill the boss because you're rich enough to do damage to him. Because he didn't make enough money, 
He didn't make enough damage? Now you have enough money to do the damage. You're in charge, Johnny. Uh. Life is cruel, episode 19. Trauma loop. I mean, with this uh, money gun, he should be fine. The final level of Cruelty Squad is a loop of endless trauma. A horrifying... So that wasn't even the final episode. The final section. You literally just get booted to the main screen at random occasions. And why is that a waffle? Labyrinth of nonsensical rooms so named because of how many times I had to restart it. Trapped in this new and terrifying realm, we are stripped of our assets. Oh! Our upgrades, and our sense of actual level design. For uh, a few of those are kind of debatable. Let's be honest, there's a few of these that have level design and air quotes. They're more like level tortures. The assets could be a problem, and the upgrades, losing those might actually be an upside. Forcing us to use all the mechanics that I forgot about 20 hours ago. This because stage the, is a place of chaos, yeah, a, a place crap. of torment, where, much like the rest of the game, we are forced to adapt to the absolutely nonsensical. Also, we can reach the cradle of life, and finally put an end to this twisted... Uh, Does he just break the game? Is. Onion layer one? What? I, I am not paid enough to analyze this. So despite being a little rougher... If it's too much for Maxor, that is like saying the level was too epileptic inducing for Maxor. These are levels of what the fuckery that I am both impressed and terrified about. This is very much a special, let's call it a game. Around the edges and uh, possibly untested before release. Trauma Loop is the perfect encapsulation of what makes Cruelty Squad an amazing game. With multiple equally insane routes, mind-bending challenges, and a headache-inducing visual aesthetic that I can assure you is necessary for the game to function. I yeah, this game is literally a mix of, can you beat the game, followed by, can you survive beating the game? I have never experienced a game that was so equally fun as it was terrifying. When you look at Ultra Kill and go, dude, what's with the high-end budget on that thing? Turn those graphics down. And I definitely recommend that you play it. So, if you want to pick up Cruelty Squad and finally experience what eco-death is like... No. 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 Don't. This is literally a case of no. There's people who like this. Good for them. I'm going to run away screaming now. Then don't worry. I have already spoiled it for you. Seriously, though, in a world of crazy graphics and even crazier development cycles, it's yeah. good to know that people are still making games with just a little bit of personality. I'm Maxor, and this has been your guide to a late-stage retinal damage. Oh, and God. as always, set goals. Invest. Wake up early. CEO. Mindset. Subscribe to the fucking channel. I think I can safely speak for everyone. I say that was a thing. An experience, even. It's like discovering how to simulate epilepsy and schizophrenia at the same time and then being able to just walk away later and realize you did that to yourself willingly and you now have the memory of it crushed within your soul and never to be escaped until the end of time. Kind of like that. I have no idea if I could even comprehend doing this. Like Ultra Kill, it's a little beyond my skill level, but I think it would be fun to try. This I'm looking at and going, oh God. I'm impressed that someone put so much work into making something so intensely painful in every way. I thought maybe that was unintentional and it just looked like that, but the people in the comments went into a lot greater detail about people who went into much more in-depth, pulled back views that made this game out to be even more batshit insane than I realized at first to what took me all this time to realize Maxor simplified this video. This is a completely correct summary of it. It's probably why he changed the title from an incorrect summary to a normal game TM because he was being very accurate and making it too approachable. Things that I never thought I would say and have actually caused me pain to say them. I'm just going to add that to the list. Yeah. Basically what I'm saying is this was great and terrifying and I think I need to go bleach my eyes because they seem to be seeing random images of Gorbino that weren't there before and I think I am now having a stroke. But if that's not the case, then I'm just insane. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but it's just more visual representation of it that I'm aware of than anything else. Otherwise, again, link below, video hit it up. I'll see you guys for the next one, whatever that is. I right now cannot think and I would like to go fix that. Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk would do it, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Adios.